Welcome to Living a Sustainable Dream. I just want to talk to you about a really neat uh, product that my wife and I have come across and it was actually introduced to me by a cousin of mine and he knew that we lived off grid and he said, hey, you might want to check out one of these bulbs. Well, this is a LED light bulb and this is not the, the power of Tesla in my hand here. Uh, it's just simply a switch that comes with it and this is a standard fitting light bulb and you can have one of these here hook into it. And it's got a hook like this. So you can actually hang it up if you want. And this is what I'm gonna to use to work on the car tonight. And we're gonna need some extra light outside for the, the task I need to do. And the car's just far enough away where I can't drag an electric light to it. And having a flashlight hanging around, just not that great. But it is a battery light bulb inside here. So there's a battery and you need eight hours of actual grid or power entering that battery for it to charge for around three hours. Uh, we find that it provides the best light for about the first hour and a half of the eight hours of charge that it receives, um, and then it starts to degrade from that point on. But they're great to have. If you're in a power outage, and let's say you're on the grid and the grid goes down, you can at least have some lamp light uh, around your house, and if you want, you can actually unscrew it, put this fitting on the back, and take it with you to other rooms if you want, uh, or even hang it up in your closet if you want to, uh, to provide the light need. Or if you're like me, needing to work on the car, uh, to put a battery in the car to get it started on a cold winter night like this, then you just put in the tail end, and then you hook it up right to the, the hood, and turn it on, and you can work right away. So, pretty neat. And I really do uh, do like it. And I actually have it in several of my lights or key lights in the home because I like to power the house off at night because we're off grid. And to save power in the winter time, you don't want uh, the inverter drawing power from the battery bank because that's a couple more hours of power that you can go without having to charge with a generator um, or even a couple sunny days, uh, you might need that extra power. However, this bulb works great. Just plugged into a regular lamp. There we go. Except for it cannot handle dimmer switches and it cannot handle uh, lights that are on the same circuit. So like these two lights here are on the same switch. So because they're on the same switch, you can't have two of these bulbs on the same switch. This is the problem with the battery backup light bulb is that this is a two light switch. As you can see, this is the battery light here. The switch is off. I go ahead and turn it on. There it is on. So I got both lights, you know, on. But when I turn it off, the battery uh, energy saver light bulb comes back on. So it doesn't work on a light switch with two lights connected to it, two or more lights. It can only work on a single switch, such as that one there. So that is actually a battery energy saving light bulb as well. And you can turn that one off because there's no other light bulb on that switch. However, this one, not the case. There it goes. Say for some reason one bulb will stay on uh, when you power that off or turn it off. It's just, it's a weird glitch. But if it's in a single lamp or in a single switch uh, situation like that lamp, uh, that light is, then it works just fine. Let's go ahead and get to work on the truck. Not enough light getting to this area, but if I go ahead and turn on this lamp and just hang it right up in there, I got myself a place where I can put the battery in the rig. So I'll go ahead and grab that. So it's doing a great job.